I'm Gore from Colby Fish Enterprises and I'm going to show you my idea for a DIY uh, grow out pond water filtration system. What you'll need is basically a bucket, this is a 20 litre, I don't know how many gallons that is for the other viewers. Um, uh, basically you'll need the, the drum, some charcoal, it's called oats coal here, there we go, charcoal and a knife, the pipe from your pump that will, that will feed the filter and a piece of pipe that you'll use to take the water out of the filter. First off, my idea comes from a bought store filter. Basically what they do uh, is they have a little canister, let me show you. This canister has some piece of charcoal on the inside. Let's pop that open. There we go. Little pellet sized charcoal things that they use to run the water through and then biofilter the water. That's where the plan comes from. It just pops in nothing else inside here except for the little sponge to filter out all the big things. The pump already has one of these sponges, so I need to put anything extra in there. Reassemble this quickly. I remember how. Sometimes it takes a little while. Done. Okay, so what I'm doing is first off, the lid. I will use a little hole for the in inlet pipe to go into the lid to supply the drum with water. For that I'll need my trusty Boko knife. I like this knife. It was a present for my lovely wife. It almost rhymes. Okay, so I'm going to measure out roughly the hole I need. Actually, let's pause for a second and give it a better tool. I'm back. Now, um, speaking of presents for my wife, I'm going to use a 16 mil drill bit. It's slightly smaller than the diameter of the pipe, but that just means it's a better fit, no bugs and things going in there as well. So, just, I think my drill bit is blunt. Alright, just clean out your hole a little bit before you start this process. Knife is also blunt. <laughs> it would appear that the knife has also become blunt over the year. Just reaming it to get rid of the burrs, mostly. Alright, now I've got a little hole for my pipe. And it fits perfectly. Therefore, my inlet is now complete. Now, Now, this system is going to run into a heater system that we're going to use this plastic pipe, polycore, polycarb, some pipe, basic irrigation pipe. We're going to coil up into a sun heater and that should increase the water temperature enough for the fish to live comfortably. Now this is also roughly the size that I'm going to use. I'll just ream it out a little bit more with the blunt knife in the side of the bucket actually in the front so that it works nicely and the water is rushed through and everything not too close to the bottom otherwise some of the particles will just run back into the water and your system just fails so about I'd say 80 to 10 80 to 100 mils from the bottom and you just Make a hole. That 
was easier. From there, I will ream it a bit bigger using a knife until the pipe just goes in, goes to the heater, goes back to the pond, and Bob Janko. Washing the charcoal takes some time to make sure it's clean. Please make sure it's clean, otherwise, the charcoal particles are going to float in the water. It's going to be a horrible mess to clean up later. So, you take your charcoal. I'm going to have to sharpen this knife. If violence does not solve your problems, you're not using enough of it. Okay, so basically, I'm going to take my charcoal. The camera can follow me, please. Rinse wash all of the charcoal. Bag is now empty. Uh, make sure the water is cleanish that you're using, and then just Rinse all the particles out. We use a tiny bit of bleach in the water so that some of the elements die off of the charcoal. Another thing to remember, charcoal. Not briquettes, charcoal. Briquettes will just become a mush and then clog your whole system. This is charcoal, proper hard charcoal. Idea. Filter for my charcoal filter. You repeat this process until the water runs clear. That's when you know your chocolate is clean. Some smaller pieces float. Therefore I'm going to let it fill up to the top and let some of the small brittle pieces just run out by themselves. That way avoiding too much of the charcoal running into the into the grout pond. I discovered a crack in my container. Now I'm just allowing all the charcoal to rush out on the side, so it's too small to use. Pour it out and install. Okay, I have my fancy little carry case for charcoal and now I'm going to select some of the biggest to go in and then it'll, the size will decrease as it goes on also forming a natural filter that way and that's how you make a charcoal filter easy as that these pieces are too small in my opinion do it perfect. Trick shot. Thank you for watching up to this far. We would like if you subscribe, give a like, thumbs up, tell your friends. It's not the best way to build a charcoal filter, but it's a way to build a charcoal filter and it's cheap. So if you want to use it, use it. If you're not, don't. Up to you. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.